Plenty of tears and great appreciation today for our young American heroes. A large crowd gathered for the official opening ceremony of a traveling memorial for those killed in the war on terror. Eyewitness News reporter Haley Bianco takes us to the special tribute. A solemn ceremony at McDade Park in Scranton. My brother, Staff Sergeant Stephen Tudor, was killed in Iraq in 2007. Dozens of umbrellas held overhead as this large crowd spent hours out in the rain to honor military members killed in action since September 11, 2001. In the crowd, veterans, those still in service, community members, and family. He was 21, but he just become sergeant, and so he was. We were proud of that. Cynthia's son, Sergeant Eric Slobodnik, is featured on the memorial. She showed me his picture and raved how since he was a little boy, serving his country was his dream. He loved what he was doing. He died doing what he really loved doing. The traveling memorial is made up of 30 towers, each 15 feet tall. About 5,000 American heroes are pictured here, with a picture of them in uniform and a picture of them with family or as a child. It just makes me feel that he's being appreciated for what he did. The 14-year-old is here to honor his uncle, Sergeant Dale Lloyd. He died literally when I was one years old and I have no memories of him. This is the first time the memorial has made a stop in Pennsylvania, but those who went to see it say they hope it's not the last. I'm afraid of, of people forgetting and to have this um, going around the United States, I think it's um, a real honor. During the ceremony, all the names on the memorial were read aloud, plus 2,000 additional names of local heroes who are in the process of being added to the wall. In Scranton, Haley Bianco, Eyewitness News. The Remembering Our Fallen Memorial is open to the public free of charge through Tuesday from dawn to dusk.